Okay, so we've got a question here about Jorge. Uh, Wayne saved £72 more than Michelle. How much did Wayne save? Okay, so uh, it's one of those logic problems. So £72 more than Michelle. All right. So I'm going to do it by algebra. It's a logic problem. So Michelle and Wayne saved. Wayne saved £72, right? So Michelle equals x pounds, and then Wayne equals x plus 72, because we say 72 pounds more. So 2x plus 72 must equal 458. So 2x is equal to, well, we take away 72 from both of those. So 458 minus 72. 386. So x is a half of that. So we divide by 2. So 193. So Michelle is 193 pounds. So Wayne saved 193 plus the 72. So plus 72 equals 265. Okay, so we check um, 265 plus 193, so 265 plus 193 equals 458. Okay, so 458, yep, that's right, because that's what they saved. Okay, <coughs> alright, so logic says that if we're not sure what somebody does, then call it x, then uh, write the other thing in terms of x. And then we can write a little equation, um, solve it, and then that will help us to resolve what the actual answer will be. Um, you can do it by trial and error, but guys, just learn a little bit of basic algebra, and it will save you a bit of heartache in uh, problems like these. Um, right, work out 70% of £90. Um, well, percentage multipliers help with these kind of questions. So 70% is the same as 0.7. So to do 70% of 90 is the same as doing 0.7 times 90, which on your calculator will give you 63. 0.7 times 90 equals 63. So 63 pounds. Learn the calculator method uh, when it's a calculator paper, guys. It will save you a lot of time and effort uh, when you're doing percentages. So learn what percentage multipliers are. Um, divide the percentage by 100 will always give you the thing that you multiply by. And we end up multiplying by 0.7 in this case, which is the same as doing 70% of something. So 63 pounds. Okay, so the next question says, uh, write these fractions in uh, order of size. Start with the smallest fraction. Well, we've got lots of ways of doing this. So this is a calculator paper. So we could turn every fraction into a decimal because we've got a fraction key. Um, so one half equals, uh, change it. Uh, so that's 10.5. 1724 equals, and then change it by pressing the fraction key again. Um, so 0 0.708. Uh, three quarters, we should know, is 0 0.75. Um, five twelfths, so uh, five twelfths equals, press the fraction key again, 0 0.416. So we can change them all into decimals by using the fraction key on the calculator. Uh, some calculators have an auto change key, so write the fraction by pressing the fraction key and then press the change key and it'll change it into a decimal for you. Um, the other way of doing this, of course, is to recognize that we could change these all into the same common denominator. Now, as it happens, all of these numbers will go into 24. So we could change this into 12 24 ths. We recognize that this is already 17 24 ths. 3 quarters, um, well, we times 4 by 6, so that's going to be 18 24 ths, because 3 times 6 is 18. And 5 12 ths to become 24 ths is 12 is doubled, so the 5 will be doubled as well. So we can do it by common uh, denominators, or we could change them all into decimals. It says um, start with the smallest fraction. Well, when we look at this list, we can see that 0.4 is the smallest out of those decimals. So the list is going to start with 5 twelfths. Uh, the next smallest is uh, 0 0.5, so that's the same as a half. Uh, the next smallest after that is 0 0.708, so that's 17 twenty-fourths. And then it's uh, 3 quarters. 
And again, if we do this by checking with this, 10 24 is the smallest number of 24 so that was correct. 12 24 is next, 17 24 is next, and 18 24 is the last one. Notice the final answer is written with the original fractions given there, because this is about writing these fractions these fractions in size order, so don't make the mistake of uh, writing the decimals and things like that guys. Okay, so that's some examples of how to work with fractions and uh, write in size order using a calculator.